Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through what is probably one of the biggest struggles, the biggest issues people have when it comes to adding muscle mass. So walk you through what that struggle is, why it causes so many issues for people to gain muscle mass and how we can then go about it. Don't forget if you do enjoy the video please do drop a like, drop a comment if you've got any questions or if you want to see anything in particular and if you haven't already please do subscribe. Now the biggest struggle, biggest issue a lot of people have when it comes to building muscle mass is actually from a mindset perspective, okay? And that is that they struggle with the idea or don't like the idea of actually gaining weight, okay? Yes, they want to gain muscle mass, but they don't, don't like the idea of gaining weight and in particular, gaining body fat, okay? Now, yes, we probably want to and can go about adding muscle mass in a way that limits body fat. Obviously, we don't want to accumulate body fat um, and not, not much muscle mass, but over the process of gaining muscle mass, you will accumulate body fat. And that is something a lot of people have to get their head around, have to come to realize, okay? I was in a very similar position when I started looking at gaining muscle mass, especially if you come from a position where you've been relatively lean for a lot of your life, you might not like the idea of gaining body fat, okay? I was in that position. And it took me quite a while to get my head around the fact that if I wanted to get the most out of gaining muscle mass, put myself in an optimal position to gain muscle mass, I was going to accumulate body fat along the way. Here's the reason why accumulating body fat will happen. When you want to gain muscle mass and therefore, you know, gain weight over time, the optimal energy balance you want to be in to gain muscle mass is a surplus, okay? That is where you're taking in more food than you are burning, okay? That way you're going to have more energy available uh, for the process of actually building muscle mass and to go towards training performance, which we know is a huge factor when it comes to adding muscle mass, okay? So being in a surplus is the optimal position or energy balance to be in. Now, it is uh, the, the natural process of adding muscle mass and the natural process of adding body fat. It is quicker to add body fat than it is muscle mass. Adding muscle mass takes time, okay? So when you're in this surplus and trying to add muscle mass, you will accumulate body fat over time at a quicker rate than gaining muscle mass. That is just the way it is. Now we obviously want to keep this surplus controlled. We might want to even keep it relatively small so we're trying to limit the amount of body fat that we're gaining while still doing what we can to build muscle mass. Yes, I'm not saying we have to go all out and just accumulate body fat at a quick rate, but over time you will accumulate body fat quicker than you are going to accumulate muscle mass. And again, this is something a lot of people have to get their head around because the issue that people have if they're really, um, you know, fearful of gaining muscle, uh, sorry, gaining body fat, and as soon as they see themselves gaining body fat, they wanna, they wanna pull back. The issue a lot of people have if they do that is that one, they're not spending a lot of time in an optimal position to actually add muscle mass, and because the process of adding muscle mass takes so long, um, if you're only there in short periods, you're not going to be doing a lot to actually add muscle mass, okay? And secondly, for a lot of people, if they are worried of that, they're gonna spend more time in a fat loss phase trying to bring their body fat levels down than they are in a surplus and trying to, in a mass gaining phase trying to build muscle mass. This is why you see so many people go through a mass gaining phase for a decent amount of time, because it takes time, and then go into a fat loss phase um, to try and reduce body fat levels before they then go into a mass gaining phase again, okay? They do that because when you're in a mass gaining phase, when you try to add muscle mass and you're in a surplus, you are going to accumulate body fat over time. It just is it's, it's one of the things that comes with it, okay? So that's why people go through this, all, this sort of mass gaining phase, fat loss phase, mass gaining phase, fat loss phase, because in the long term, they're trying to manage the levels of body fat that they have while trying to get the optimal rate of uh, muscle mass, okay? So hopefully this helps and hopefully this makes sense, okay? In a nutshell, don't get too concerned with the accumulation of body fat. It is going to happen over time as you gain muscle mass. It's something you have to come to realize, something you have to come to accept if you're wanting to commit to the process of adding muscle mass. No, I am not meaning you just accumulate body fat as quick as you can and accept that. Obviously go about it in a controlled manner, try and have the accumulation of body fat obviously being as slow as possible while still doing all we can to gain muscle mass but over time it will happen and we can use stuff like fat loss phases <clears throat> now and again to try and manage the body fat levels long term but we have to come to accept that it is the fact that accumulation of body fat will 
will happen. Again, if you did find the video helpful, please drop a like. If you've got any questions on this, please drop a comment, and please do subscribe. Catch you next time.